Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Desi here, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. So recently, I did get my job back. If you guys don't know, I do work at Halloween Haunt. I don't know if any of you guys know that, or like what it is, but basically, it's where you dress up as like a character, like a haunted house character or something like that. So basically, you get paid for scaring people. Like, how cool is that? But yeah, so I finally got that job, and I'm gonna be working Fridays and Saturdays. And this Wednesday, which this is probably gonna go up on Thursday or Friday, I'm gonna be going to a thing called Scare School, which basically I get paid for going to school to scare people. Like, it's not technically school. What it is is we just go to our house and then we play our role in the house. So, for example, like, last year I was, like, a band geek. Like, on my face for makeup, I did have, like, notes on a paper and stuff like that, like, inside my face and stuff. I, I don't know. It was really cool. But anyways, so yeah, that's what we do. And I was the band geek. And this year I actually am the band geek again. I decided that I was going to be it. We had a choice to do and I decided to be the band geek again because, honestly, that spot was so much fun because a lot of people... People think that you're not even real and they walk like right past you and then you just scare the heck out of them and it's so funny but I'm hyped to actually get a job and just start getting money because I want money so bad I haven't had money since last year I actually haven't had like a full job like ever like that's been my only job and I'm thankful for that because my parents are actually letting me just do that and not get an actual job so but working out haunt it's on what the fuck are you doing? But anyways, working at Haunt, it's a lot of fun. And if you guys live anywhere where they do like haunted houses or something like that, you guys should go do it. It is a lot of fun. It is pocket money. It is worth it because you get paid for scaring the crap out of people. It's honestly the best job you could ever have. But anyways, to go farther with this topic, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. What should I get with my money that I work there? I think most of my money that I'm going to get is probably going to go towards my setup because I do want to upgrade my setup. I know what I'm going to get, like, for sure, and that is definitely going to be a PS4. I need a PS4 because I'm not going to be playing on old-gen consoles anymore. I'm not playing on the Xbox One because that shit is trash. I'm going to be getting a PS4. I've already made accounts for it so people haven't stole my name. I don't have the original name Dezas or any damn i don't have the original name dezas because that was taken but i did get v dezas and x dezas so i don't know which one i'm going to use there but i'm going to use one of those but i'm wondering what to do with the other money I, i'm not really going to tell you guys how much i make but i do make over 1000 i can just tell you guys that i don't know if i should buy like a benq if i should buy another computer because i have been thinking about getting a desktop since i need my com my laptop right now for school since school is very overwhelming right now and i need to get like college ready and everything so i need a desktop if i want to do all my stuff on there but yeah like i'm wondering if i should get a desktop but i don't want to buy a desktop that like wastes all my money i want to get a desktop that's basically like under like 400 ish i guess you could say i've seen some pretty good desktops for a really decent price i've i've seen some for about 300 dollars um that are actually pretty good they have an i5 processor with uh, 8 gigs of RAM and i5s aren't the best but it's good for what I'm needing because my computer has a Pentium it, it, it runs fine for me like I don't have any problems with it like I'm not really known to all that like high quality stuff so I mean going from like a Pentium to an i7 would definitely be like such a big upgrade I don't even know what I could do with it but going from an i5 and maybe upgrading later it I, I think it would work fine but I mean, I could get a desktop. I'm not for it for sure. If you guys could tell me in the comment sections, that would be awesome because I really want to think about getting something different for my setup. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I do not have a hit marker or a shot in this. If I do hit marker or get a shot, I'm definitely going to put it at the end of the video. But if I don't, then I'm sorry, guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please help me out with what I should get with my money and everything like that. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.